many have referred to the recent Star Wars TV show The Mandalorian as a great space western, with its many classic old Wild West film influences. However, I would posit to anyone making that point that actually, a large majority of the aesthetic and general plot for the show are directly drawn or inspired by the 1972 samurai film Lone Wolf and Cub. In fact, a lot could be said in regard to the similarities between the two sources. Allow me to elaborate. For literal decades, samurai films and western films have been intrinsically linked. When a samurai film is popular in the east, it is transposed and adapted into a western film for Hollywood. Yojimbo, directed by Akira Kurosawa, went on to become a fistful of dollars. The film that gave breakout success to Clint Eastwood and cemented the spaghetti western as a pinnacle in the western genre. A Fistful of Dollars would even go on to have a sequel that would be touted as one of the greatest westerns of all time, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. The other single greatest example of an east-to-west conversion that people would recognize would be Seven Samurai being remade as The Magnificent Seven. The concept of samurai on film many times follows the narratives of lone wanderers fixing wrongs when they come across them, only then to return to the road once it's all said and done. The closest this concept gets to western views would be that of the wandering gunslinger. Thus, it becomes a perfect formula for adaptation. When it came time around for Star Wars to do a TV show about a wandering bounty hunter, they opted for a plot that had vague western influences, yet I would also argue it's more in line with a samurai film. Specifically, the point I'm trying to make is that The Mandalorian is a pseudo-adaptation of Lone Wolf and Cub. The first film in the Lone Wolf series, specifically titled Sword of Vengeance, came out in 1972 and follows a former executioner. When his wife is slain by three ninjas, he is forced to wander the countryside with his three-year-old son. While the plot of the first film and The Mandalorian diverge after the general concept, the base aesthetic and core are strikingly similar, a lone wolf and his cub. In the climax of the first Lone Wolf film, while the main samurai is in a duel, his son helps him by distracting his opponent with a mirror. This is not much unlike when Grogu helps the show's titular protagonist when facing an opponent in battle. It happens quite a lot, actually. When Din Djarin the Mandalorian is facing a Mudhorn, when he's facing a Stormtrooper, and also when his ship might be stolen by a droid. It's the basic plot formula of somebody is focused on the protagonist, so they lose focus on the toddler who eventually saves the day. Lone Wolf and Cub is not the only samurai film that gets an homage in the show, however. There is an entire Seven Samurai-inspired episode within the first season. When a fishing village is plagued by bandits in the woods, they hire Din Djarin and his allies to defend the village while also teaching them to fight. This is the exact same core plot as Kurosawa's Seven Samurai. A farm village is plagued by bandits and hires seven warriors to defend the town and also teach them how to fight. John Favreau himself even refers to it as the Seven Samurai episode. While a broader argument could be made as a whole about how the Jedi are directly influenced by samurai, this show remains yet another token of proof how when it comes to the path of the Mandalorian and the path of the samurai, there's a lot more in common than you think. <laughs>